Okay, welcome to your first time opening Maya, if this is your first time opening Maya. So whenever you open Maya after a fresh install, you're going to get this What's New um, Highlight Settings window come up. Uh, and it's automatically set to Show at Startup and Highlight What's New. If I turn that off, you'll see all those little green um, overlays go away. Uh, I quite like this. I think it's really cool to see what new features have been added, and they do, especially recently, tend to add a lot of new features um, with every release. So, I mean, tons of this stuff is new to me. Uh, I haven't, since I last used Maya, um, I, I haven't seen the mashed motion graphics windows, Arnold is a new addition, um, text options, uh, there's all kinds of really uh, polygons with scalable vectors all new stuff to me, so I'm going to have to actually get my head around that before I can do any videos for you guys. Um, now, I like the highlights, but I hate this little box, so I tick off Show It Startup and hit OK. Alright, when you first open up Maya, um, what you get, of course, is this huge, daunting array of icons at the top of your screen. Um, your viewport, which is what I'm looking here, and I see my little 3D grid. Um, and well, just an awful lot of options that we'll take our time going through. So first and foremost, uh, actually being able to move around 3D space, because that's why we're here. Um, uh, let me walk you through the navigation tools. So it's easier to do this if I actually create an object. And I can create an object in my scene two ways, um, if I'm creating polygons. So these tabs at the top of my UI give me a whole bunch of different options for adding things into the scene and the one I want is my polygons tab and everything right up to that T is a different object that I can create. If I click one, so I'll just go ahead and click that cube you'll see a cube shows up in the middle of my screen. These same options are also available under create polygon primitives you'll see not only are there the same options, but there actually are more options for shapes, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to work with polygons most of the time. NURBS and volume primitives are another uh, another thing you can create in Maya. Um, NURBS you tend to use in, uh, say, like car commercials. They give really cool curved surfaces. Um, but you don't bring them into games because a NURB is just a, it's a very large file size and a game engine is going to lag out big time trying to run with NURBs. So, well, it, it can't anyways. Anything, anytime you bring a NURB into a game engine, it will convert it to a polygon. So we might as well use polygons. Okay. So polygons, uh, we have this cube in the middle of our screen. Now to actually look around it, um, uh, I'm going to need to use the Alt key, so let's start taking some notes here. Alright, I'm going to pause this while I write my first note, so you don't have to actually listen to me type as I narrate. Okay, so here our, are our basic navigation tooltips. Um, so if you hold down Alt and you left mouse button drag, you can rotate the camera. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, I'm holding down Alt on my keyboard and I'm holding down my left mouse button and as I hold down my left mouse button and I drag you'll see that the um, the scene rotates. Now the scene itself, so this cube and this grid, isn't actually the one that's rotating. I apologize, that was totally the wrong language to use. My camera rotates around the scene. So I'm actually looking through a camera right now. This viewport is a camera. In fact, you see at the bottom it says persp, so for perspective, that tells me which camera I am looking at. I could create other cameras in the scene and look through those cameras. But right now we are looking through the default camera. So this is just rotating around an object. The next one, so hold down Alt and middle mouse button drag to pan the camera. So this is rotating. And if I actually want to just move the camera left and right like this, which is really useful if, say, for example, you have this cube and 10,000 other cubes and you want to specifically work on cube number 9,999, um, you could just like just pan all the way over until you eventually find your cube. Um, or you could find the cube 
in the outliner, which I will show, show you shortly. Um, so rotate with your left mouse and pan left, right, up and down with your middle mouse. Finally, if you hold down Alt and right mouse button drag, you can zoom in on that cube. So as you can see, we got a crash zoom happening there. Um, and that is holding down my um, right mouse button and dragging that while I have Alt held down on my computer. The scroll wheel also works, and I don't need to hold down Alt for that. So that's just the scroll wheel on its own. Um, okay, so those are our basic navigation tools. And the next thing I want to go into is your basic movement tools. So how do you actually move objects around on screen?